Lurgix 3D printer moves by means of pulleys and profiles. In order to ensure the smooth movement, it is necessary to adjust the engagement of pulleys and profiles. So first of all, let's adjust the Y-axis. This axis that the platform is moving back and forth is the Y-axis. Lift the machine to see this is the Y-axis slider. There are two eccentric nuts here. Each eccentric nut has a red marking line on it. The front eccentric nut is on the inside. May not be particularly noticeable. If you rotate the eccentric nut to make this red marked line turn towards the profile, the gap between the this pulley and the opposite pulley on the slider will become smaller. In this case the pulleys clamps the profile. If you rotate the eccentric nut to make this red marked line turn outside of the profile, the gap between the two pulleys on the slider will become larger. In this way, the pulley will be in a loose state on the profile. Take out an 8mm wrench. First of all, let's adjust the pulleys to a loose state. That is, rotate the eccentric nut to turn the red marking line to the outside of the profile. What does it look like to turn to the outside? You can see that the Y-axis slider becomes a loose state on this profile. At this point, adjust the eccentric nut while shaking the Y-axis slider. Turn the red marking line towards the profile as many small angles as possible. Shake the slider every time you turn an angle. until the pulley no longer shakes, but is firmly on the profile. At this point, the front half of the slider no longer shakes but the second half of the slider is shaking. Same method, turn the eccentric nut little by little so that the red marking line turns to the profile. Shake the slider while turning the eccentric nut. Adjust until the slider and the profile are just meshed. And the slider will not shake. And the slider should be able to move smoothly on the profile. Okay, now the engagement between the Y-axis pulley and the profile has been adjusted. Let us check it out first of all. Shake the slider in the direction of rotation. Check whether the pulley is loose. Then shake the slider in the vertical direction. Check whether the pulley is loose. Make sure there is no wobbling gap between the slider and the profile. That is okay. Now let's adjust the x-axis. First of all, raise the x cantilever. The eccentric nut of the x-axis slider is at the bottom, and there is only one nut. So first we raise it up to make sure I have enough room for my wrench. Loosen the belt on the x-axis. Then remove the belt fixing block. I adjust the angle of the printer so that you guys can see the eccentric nut on the x-axis. In this position, you can see an eccentric nut. And there is a red marking line on the nut.
Firstly, turn the eccentric nut to the outside of the profile. The X-axis slider has become loose on the X-axis profile. Now, just like the Y-axis, every time you adjust the angle a little bit, shake the slider again. Until the X-axis pulley can run stably on the X-axis profile without any shaking. Make sure the X-axis slider doesn't shake in this direction and also doesn't shake in the direction of rotation. We have adjusted the engagement of X-axis pulley in profile. Then put the fixing block of the belt back on the X-axis slider. You don't have to adjust the tightness of the belt here and we'll adjust it in next video. Next, we will adjust the engagement of Z-axis pulley in profile. Lower the cantilever to facilitate observation. For the Z-axis, there is only one eccentric nut in this position. It's in this position looking from the back. You can see that the red marking line of the eccentric nut is now in this position. Firstly, loosen it up in the same way. Turn the red marking line on the eccentric nut to the outside of the profile. The cantilever becomes loose. Rotate the eccentric nut a little further inward to turn the marking line towards the profile. And shake the X-axis cantilever at the same time. Until the cantilever is no longer loose. Now the XYZ axis engagement of the whole machine has been adjusted. Note that the engagement between the pulley and the profile is not as tight as possible. Too tight engagement will increase the resistance of pulleys when they move. Then increase the wear of pulleys on the slider in advance. In this case, the operating life of each axis of the entire machine will be shortened. Do not make the engagement too loose which can lead to the slider shaking. Which will cause various print quality problems on the surface of the prints. Therefore, when adjusting the engagement between the pulley and the profile, turn the eccentric nut as small as possible, and adjust it many times. In this way, you can find a more suitable meshing position. This is a good way to adjust the engagement of pulley and profile.